Good evening. My name is Karen Boyson, and I'm the president of the Ramsey County Bar Association. Tonight is all about the Ramsey County Bar Foundation, which is the charitable arm of the Bar Association. The foundation provides grants to numerous law-related charitable organizations that serve the very neediest in our community. The money we raise for the foundation allows Smurls lawyers to help low-income seniors in Ramsey County remain in safe housing. It supports Children's Law Center attorneys who represent children living in foster care. And it helps advocates for human rights attorneys who represent indigent asylum seekers living in Ramsey County. I could give examples from many more organizations and thousands more people the foundation has helped. But instead, I'll let you hear from a couple of the people whose lives have been changed because of the foundation and the organizations it serves. The reason why Children's Law Center got involved in my case is because I was being abused by my stepfather in different ways and charges were being pressed against him. I needed so much help in different ways, like bringing up my concerns, questions and everything. And I didn't know how to go about doing that. And luckily enough, Children's Law Center gave me Sarah, who was like a guardian angel because you didn't really know where she came from, but she was there and fighting like a crusader. To have an attorney when all of my court proceedings was going on, it felt nice because sometimes I was too anxious and I did not want to show up. And I knew Sarah would be my warrior, she would be there to represent actually what I wanted, what I desired, and not put words in my mouth. There's a sense of gratitude you feel for people who are willing to give a portion of their time to help you. Without an attorney, I believe my case would be a lot harder because I would not have been able to bring up my concerns about my placement or concerns about my sister's placement or even get the things that I needed like just my own clothes. I mean you can always go shopping for clothes but there's some clothing that you're like that's my favorite I want it and I got one of my teddy bears that is one of my favorites. After aging out of foster care I graduated from Oxford College with a major in biology and a minor in Spanish studies. Since graduating from Oxford, I have been employed in the medical fields and I am now pursuing a career as a Spanish interpreter to give back to the community. I would like to say thank you to those donating to help others get through difficult situations such as mine. My name is Laura Orr. I'm an attorney with Southern Minnesota Regional Legal Services. I represented Mr. Hassan Samatar. Mr. Hassan Samatar had received a notice of termination of his housing subsidy. He is a low-income individual, so a termination of a housing subsidy that helps him afford rent necessarily put him at risk of eviction and losing his housing. He first visited our office with concerns about whether his appeal of the termination of the subsidy would even be accepted. The agency that processes appeals for the termination of a housing subsidy would not process Mr. Samatar's request for a hearing because he was not considered the head of household. Mr. Samatar had been living with a niece who had experienced an acute mental health event. She had been considered the head of household and the household subsidy was terminated because she had not followed through with appropriate reporting procedures when she left the household for treatment of her mental health event. Mr. Samatar contacted our office when the agency was refusing to accept his appeal and refusing to keep benefits in place pending that appeal. 
Our office argued that his niece had been under a disability at the time when reporting procedures had not been met and argued that to accommodate that disability, the agency needed to allow the subsidy and benefits to remain in place. The agency ultimately accepted a request to transfer the head of household status to Mr. Samatar, and Mr. Samatar remains housed today thanks to the continuing presence of his subsidy. Mr. Samatar was able to remain housed because he held help in a time of need from Southern Minnesota Regional Legal Services. Your support through donations allows organizations like ours continue to help clients in need. Thank you for coming tonight and for supporting the foundation and all of the organizations it serves. Think about the stories you've heard tonight as you decide how much you can give to help the neediest among us. Mm -hmm.